dangerous, congested, or a relic of the past. They've just got to go. And we're Today we're going to talk about the 50 level crossing removal program. What would you be asking first is what is level crossing removals. It's just a grade separation project between the road and the rail so that traffic can pass without being stopped by trains going through. 29 level crossings will be gone by the end of the year and out of those grade separations, 11 were rail under road, 13 were rail over road, 2 were road over rail and 1 was road under rail. In the 2014 election, the 50 level crossing removal program was just a political promise. Few level crossings that have been put on that removal list are actually not very good decisions. Like the one at Werribee Street is a very prime example of politics not understanding what is going on because regional rail link put less traffic on that corridor because the v-lines have been diverted via Wyndham Vale and Tarnit so that makes the Werribee Street crossing uh, not worth doing anymore but majority of the level crossings picked are in reasonable sites there's just a couple here and there that don't make any sense where they could have just chosen other ones that have more priority all projects go over budget mostly. I, I don't see many projects stay in budget. I mean, that's pretty unlikely, especially with a program this large. It's removing 50 level crossings. It's it, You really think that's going to stay on budget? It's a very complex project. And especially with all the scope increase, like, for example, the Dandenong line is a good prime example because that's that's went way over budget. Or compared to the other crossings. Across the other crossings are more in budget, but the Dandenong one it has been over because there's a reason for that. They've uh, made they made the project much more better by having it uh, all open underneath. They can, they made it a continuous section of elevated rail. Stations are more look more fancy compared to the other sites. They've chosen they've chosen a really uh, big structure compared to the other stations That's why you know that makes that project special compared to the rest Now the method of great separations have been very very criticized Like why is this like road under and this is rail under why is this road over every location is different the location has different like gradients um, some have more busier lines, some got, you know, more space to put it in. Do it so that the cost isn't too expensive. They can't go way over. They can't just, oh, let's just tunnel it. You know, that's, that's just ridiculous. You can't do that. They have a budget. They have a time frame. They have to stay within those constraints. It would be nice if every, every great separation was, you know, the most connective one, but Sometimes it, it some locations not as easy as, as just doing it that way and That's the problem with some locals is they don't get what's behind the engineering studies And there is definitely more than just you know pick and choose It's 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 a mixture of both like public gets some kind of say what what the separation is But you know there must be some agreement between both sides engineers do know what they're talking about politicians pick the level crossings to be prioritized and they put funding into each area they might put more funding in some areas than other places they they actually really do try to choose the best option at each location it is actually mostly a road project because it really does benefit road users the most. Uh, let's be honest here, if you remove a level crossing, who's being stopped at the level crossing? Is it the trains? Are the trains being stopped at the level crossing or the cars? Of course the cars are being stopped at the level crossing. So it's, of course that's the main benefit to the level crossing removals is car users. Doesn't mean that rail users don't get any benefits. They get a nice brand new fancy station and they don't have to wait at the level crossings. But most people that travel along the line 
they won't experience like extra capacity on the rail network or they won't experience any like faster travel time the travel time will be the same on the rail it's not going to speed it up you grade separate the level crossing level crossings do not slow trains one exception is tram squares where the trams intersect with the train that's where you can actually get some speed increases on the train network but it's not really a rail project but unless you remove the level crossings all along across a section of line like the Dandenong line so there you have to remove all the level crossings on the line or most of the busy ones to have the benefit to put more trains in but of course if you grade separate it doesn't really mean you get more train services like you could put more train services with the level crossing so technically it's not, it's not a rail project it's mostly a road project but it's potentially a rail project because these grade separations enable future rail projects to happen you see without the grade separations you can't really put more trains along the track and you can't even put extra services in some places where the trains run so frequently so it does benefit the railway but only if other projects have been implemented at the same time that's why the metro tunnel is in combination with the level crossing removal program because they remove all the level crossings as well as well as the, the new trains the new longer trains the the high capacity trains they they and also the high capacity signaling all of those together make it a fundamental rail project this is why the level crossing removal project is branded as road sometimes by some rail enthusiasts it unlocks the ability to improve the railway so it does it does actually benefit the railway but only potentially not guarantee that these other projects will happen alongside the grade separation project but the grade separation project definitely benefits the communities and it definitely benefits the whole state reduces congestion on the roads it means that you get these new stations improve the amenities in the area it's such a clever political project I couldn't make it any more clever than that level crossings over there level crossings over there there's so many in Melbourne you can just pick them all over the place with expensive project there comes a lot of risk but there is so much great to good from this project that all these risks involved are worth the time and money and everything put into this project the missed opportunities include duplication of the rail line there are two areas where they've kind of missed that opportunity the one at Abbott's Road on the Cranbourne line the Cranbourne line needs duplication very soon it's a very busy growth corridor it was a missed opportunity right there another one is the upfield line at Camp Road they left the room for the second track they should have duplicated the track because in the future the rail line might extend to Wallen which is another growth corridor planned and the upfield line doubles the capacity of the Cra Craigieburn line it's 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 such a pity when they have all that funding to make the grade separation but they cannot allow these like small little improvements to the, to the rail network that would actually be worth it in the long term but you know it's this short sight thinking which it really bugs me like the short term thinking like that mentality it's just it's just really sad you need to look at things in the longer term they had that opportunity but they missed it I mean it could happen in the future but still like you still look back at it and like why didn't they just do it Melbourne Melbourne rail networks been neglected for many years and so many projects have been just left in the dust because they weren't thinking for the future and it's really a pity that some things just don't happen because we don't have people that think into the future the, these projects need to be fought through not you know rushed overall I'll tell you that I'll tell you this I'll tell you honestly despite all the negativity and how it's all from political promises and think it would happen because it was such a bold idea back then there was nothing happening in 2014 trust me that there was nothing going on it was the east-west link and that's it I mean 
thank God this project's come about. This this has been a long time going. Level crossing removals or grade separations between road and rail have been very slow. And this project is really gonna actually revolutionize the way people travel. But an Andrews Labor government will be all about pudding. Enough to fill Eddie Had Stadium. Hope this video was um entertaining. I don't think it was, but at least I tried. See ya till next time. True believers.